going to show you how to make a Jenny Gammy wheelbarrow. I've got a few examples here. As you see, these two at the front are just freestanding and the two at the back I've actually attached to a card. I've done one out of mirror board here and attached this to make a more mail card and this one I've filled with flowers and I've put a tilde rubber stamp on the front to make that more of a girly card. What you actually get on the CD is you get a plain version of the template that you can cut out and then you can add your own flowers or fruits, vegetables, whatever you want into your wheelbarrow. You also get a coloured version that already has flowers on it for you. So you would just cut both the back and the front out, cut out each part, glue them together and then you're ready to make up your wheelbarrow. Now I would start by laying the sections out like this. These are the two sides of the wheelbarrow, the back and the front sides here. And these are the parts that have the leg on it that help the wheelbarrow stand up. Therefore those two parts especially have to made out, be made out of quite sturdy card in order to hold the weight of the wheelbarrow. These are the three middle sections that go down the middle of your wheelbarrow and it's on these parts here that you would attach any flowers or fruit or vegetables or anything else that you wanted to put in your wheelbarrow. These are the three parts that go crossways of the wheelbarrow. You have the smaller section that goes to the smaller end here, the larger section that goes to the larger end here, and this is the middle section of the wheelbarrow. Oops, one of my wheelbarrows has fallen over, which is quite good because it shows you how perfectly flat it actually folds. I'm going to start by taking the three middle sections. And what I want to do with these is take the middle section from here and I want to slot this into the middle slot of each of these. These can go in any order at all, it doesn't matter because they're all exactly the same. I then have a slot left at either end, one for each of these parts and these slot up the way into these sections. The only thing you have to watch for here is to make sure all your smaller ends of the wheelbarrow are together and all your larger ends of the wheelbarrow are together. My last one on this side. Oops. There I have all my parts together and the wheelbarrow is actually flat because I'm finding it easier to put the next parts in while it's like this. I'm going to start with a smaller end and this I'm actually just going to weave under this one and over the next three sections, the three middle sections. And then under the far end. So that was just simple weaving up and over. And they're going to do exactly the same at the other end. And I'm not letting go of the wheelbarrow because it's not actually sturdy enough to hold together on its own until this final section is in. So again, I'm just going weave in over the three middle sections and under the final section at the end and now it's sturdy enough to hold together and will fold flat. The only other thing you have to do to this is cut a wheel which is on the template as well, it's just a circle and I would attach that to the middle one at the bottom here just glue that on whatever height you want it to be but again make sure that's made of something quite sturdy so that it will hold your wheelbarrow up. Now if you want to attach this wheelbarrow to a card like these two, take your completed wheelbarrow and fold it flat and these three sections here you need to bend them over and crease them and bend and crease and bend and crease. You can now put a piece of double sided tape right the way along the end here and attach that flat to your card and what will happen then is the wheelbarrow will still open but as you'll see this side stays flat and stays attached to your card.